Hello, I welcome you all in this course on steam and gas power systems and today we will discuss draft. Draft is a small pressure difference causing flow of air and gases through the boiler. It is essential to supply a sufficient quantity of air through the grate because fuel is burned in the grate and a designer has to ensure that there is a sufficient amount of air which is available in the grate otherwise the fuel will not burn and the efficiency of the boiler will go down. In order to provide sufficient burning of the or complete combustion of the fuel in the grate, the air circulation has to be maintained. There are two ways of circulating air, one is we provide a pump or a fan at the at this side or on this side or we make provisions for natural circulation of a natural circulation is always preferred because it does not consume any energy right it may have some fixed high initial cost but recurring cost is zero in case of uh, if we use uh, natural methods of circulation of air in the grate you must have observed in your house that during winter season when temperature inside is let us say 25 degree centigrade if it is air conditioned house right in any case outside temperature is lower than the inside temperature to is lower than ti now in winters you must have observed that the air outside air enters the house from the openings at the bottom of the structure like from the door bottom of the door or bottom of the window and this air comes into the room because of the reason of pressure drop, pressure drop between outside and inside air. Outside air is at lower temperature. Lower temperature means if you look at the density of the air because the pressure is in, a, in the fluid is a function of density. So, pressure is rho g h, h is the height of the room. Right, G is constant, H is constant, rho. In ideal gas, PV is equal to MRT, P is pressure, V is volume, R is gas constant, T is temperature, absolute temperature, and density is equal to M by V is equal to P over RT. If pressure is remaining constant, this is constant, this is constant for air. If we reduce the temperature, the density will increase. So, density is a function of temperature. Outside temperature is lower than the inside temperature. So, that is why density of outside air will be larger than or, or will be more than then the density of air which is inside the room. And if we go by this equation, the pressure at point 1 will be greater than the pressure at point 2, right? Air will enter. But when we are moving in upward direction, the reduction in pressure outside will be more than the reduction in pressure inside because density of the air is large. And for this reason, when air reaches this hot gases, they reaches here, they reach here, the pressure at this point is pressure larger than the pressure than the surroundings. Now, let us take case of the chimney. A chimney is a vertical structure, may be circular or hexagonal or square, it, it is not necessarily to be circular. So, if you take the chimney, here the fuel is burned, air is taken from so outside air is coming in, when it is reaching at the top, it is reaching at the top with certain velocity and with certain higher pressure and it is leaving at the top. Now, here in this case, height of the chimney becomes important. Because if you increase the height of the chimney, this pressure difference will also change. So, if you make the chimney higher and higher, I mean if you keep on increasing the length of the chimney or height of the chimney, the pressure difference will increase. But there is a limitation because in the boilers, the pressure drop can vary. This, this is known as draft. This is known as draft and this pressure difference may vary from 200 to 3500 Pascal, 
right but if you want to have chimney for 3500 pascal the length will go in hundreds of the meter that we will discuss later on first of all we will discuss the chimney for the natural circulation of air right that is known as uh, draft and the height of the chimney is crucial here so we will first of all we will calculate the height of the chimney before we go for such calculations let us understand the theory of combustion normally in fuel it is carbon or hydrogen 80 percent up to 80 percent it is carbon so 75 8, 78 to 85 percent or it can go up to 85 percent so carbon is burned with oxygen and forms co2 so one volume of carbon one volume of carbon one volume of oxygen will give you one volume of carbon dioxide right it means say this is not very significant it means the volume of air because nitrogen does not participate in the combustion process so volume of the air is equal to the volume of flue gases right and volume of the air is equal to the vol volume of flue gases in the case when temperature is same if the temperature will vary then volume will vary so normally flue temperature gases temperature is high but if you take both of them at the same temperature the volume is going to remain same second part is hydrogen hydrogen is burning then then it is oxygen and then h2o then uh, 2 and 2 so two volumes of hydrogen one volume of oxy oxygen is two volume of h2 two volumes of uh, water hydrogen oxide but here in this case hydrogen is only 4 or 5 percent in the fuel it is not significant significant portion is significant fraction is carbon so we will not take into this account while doing the calculations right and we will take we will assume that at same temperature the volume of air is equal to the volume of flue gases for calculating height of the chimney because density is a function of uh, temperature so we will have in order to find the height of the chimney we will have a reference value of density right and this reference value is uh, temperature 0 degree centigrade that is 273 Kelvin and pressure is 101.3 kilo Pascal right. So, if we take temperature 273 Kelvin the volume of flue gases should be or the density of the flue gases should be equal to or the volume of the flue gases should be equal to the volume of air. So, the density reference density O is equal to P R T. So, here we can take density of air rho A is equal to P over R T A or we can say that this is P, this P is same, we will take here also P, P over R T O multiplied by T O by T A because we are taking this as a reference density. So, density of air rho A is equal to rho multiplied by T O by T A. Similarly, <laughs> for at temperature T G, this is temperature of the hot gases, right? Temperature of the hot, hot gases, the density is rho O T O by T G. <coughs> volume of air volume of air is equal to the volume of the gases at the same temperature if air is brought to the tg tg then the density of the air is going to be like this now velocity no sorry volume of air now we have density now volume of air is equal to mass of the air divided by density of air. Now, mass of air means mass of air for, for, for the combustion of 1 kg of fuel, 1 kg of coal or 1 kg of fuel. 
So, m is the mass of air which is which is required for the combustion of 1 kg of fuel. So, the volume of air is going to be this much or it is going to be m by rho o t o by t a or m t a by right volume of the gas it is going to be m t g rho o by t o because temperature of air is increasing to t g that will become the temperature of the gas because we have already established that the volume of the air is equal to the volume of the gas at the same temperature. Now, pressure of the air, pressure of the air is h rho g, when h is the height of the chimney. We have assumed certain height of the chimney h right and pressure of the air is h rho a g is equal to h rho o t o by t a into g right. Now, density of flue gases not density of air, density of flue gases. Density of flue gases is mass of the flue gases divided by the volume of flue gases. Mass of the flue gases is not m, m is the mass of air. Mass of the flue gases is m plus 1. This is mass of the flue gases because m kg of air is used for burning 1 kg of flue fuel. So, mass of the flue gases is m plus 1 volume is this. So, density is m plus 1 divided by m T g rho o t o. Is it clear? Now, we have density of the flue gases, flue gases are moving in the chimney. We have density of air, we will use the formula rho g h and if we use the formula rho g h then so the delta p will be rho a g h minus uh, rho f flue gases g h g h will come out and we will get g h will come out and then we will get what you are going to get rho o uh, T o by T a that is rho a minus m plus 1 by m rho o T o by T g. Is it clear? Now, this g h again multiplied by rho o T o then we will get 1 by T a minus m plus 1 by m 1 by T g. Now, here the main thing is calculation of the density of the flue gases. So, in order to find the density of the flue gases, first of all we have assumed or it is established that the volume of uh, air is equal to volume of air is equal to uh, volume of flue gases, volume of the flue gases at the same temperature, right. Then we calculated volume of air at temperature T g that is temperature of the flue gases, right. And that becomes the volume of the flue gases also. Mass of the flue gases is m plus 1, it is not m. So, that is how we are getting this expression. Now, <coughs> rho T o now, rho o t o is rho is equal to uh, p over r t o. So, rho o t o is 
P over R. P is a constant. P is equal to 101.3. R is equal to 0 0.287. And unit is this is kilo Pascal. This is P is equal to P is equal to 101.3 kilo Pascal. And uh, R is equal to 0 0.287. This is for air is kilo joules per kg Kelvin, sorry, kg Kelvin. This k is a small k, kg Kelvin. So, we have taken this ratio. If we take this ratio, 101.3 divided by 0 0.287, it comes around, sorry, 101.3 0.287. It comes around 352.96 or approximately 353. This is 353. So, we can rewrite here that this pressure is pressure difference is into 353 and this pressure, this is pressure difference, right. Now, H is the height of the chimney. Now, pressure difference in sometimes it is taken in millimeters of water and uh, millimeters of water it is earlier practice, but normally 1 millimeter of water, 1 mm of water is approximately equal to 9.8 Pascal or it is approximately 10 Pascal. Because in SI system, we do not use this um, system of millimeter or centimeter. Earlier in each point system, it was inches of water, half inch of water, quarter inch of water. But nowadays, pressure difference is expressed in terms of Pascal only. So, we will take in terms of Pascal. So, this is the expression for the pressure difference or the <laughs> draft developed in the chimney of height h. It is a function of, now here it, we can make some interpretation out of it because main thing is interpretation. It is a function of T g and T a and m plus 1 by m. It is ratio. So, if we are using chimney for 1 boiler or 2 boilers or 3 boilers, if they are identical boilers, if we are increasing the number of boilers, this ratio is remaining same if they are identical or in the same boiler if you are burning more fuel. If you are burning more fuel, then this ratio will remain same because it is m is the mass of air required for burning 1 kg of fuel, right. So, but the cross section area will increase, cross section of the chimney will increase because it will have to accommodate now more flue gases, but the height of the chimney will remain same for this pressure difference. Now, we can take one example, if we take example, I think the, the understanding of this phenomena will be clear. Uh, Calculate minimum height of a chimney required to produce a draft of 200 Pascal if this is not is if 20 kg of air is required to burn 1 kg of fuel on the grate. The mean, mean temperature of flue gases is in the chimney is 350 degree centigrade, the ambient temperature is 25 degree centigrade. It means that delta P is 200 Pascal. In terms of millimeter, it will come around approximately 20 millimeters, right. So, delta P is 200 Pascals. Temperature of hot gases, it is 350 degree centigrade, 350 degree centigrade. So, it has to be converted into Kelvin. This one should not forget. So, 350 plus 273 is equal to 623 Kelvin. Temperature of ambient air T a is again 25 degree centigrade, it is 25 plus 273 is equal to 298 Kelvin. Now, we have the value of T g, we have the value of T a, m is uh, 20 kg, 20 kg. So, we can put these values here and uh, height of the chimney, minimum height of chimney has to be calculated, delta P is 200 
200, I think we have all the information except h. From here, we can calculate the value of h and h will be approximately 34.6 meters approximately or we can take 35 meters. I mean 34.6 is minimum. So, height of the chimney has to be more than this. So, it can be 35, 36 meters. So, that proper draft is produced for the circulation of air through the grate to the top of the chimney. There are two things, one is chimney, oh sorry, the chimney, another is stack and another is, second is chimney. Now, chimney normally has brickwork, I mean and, and it can have any shape, it can be a circular or it can be a rectangular or hexagonal, but it has brickwork. Stack is metallic and for chimney we can go for, for, for a greater height than for a stack. Even in a locomotive engine, you must have seen a stack in a locomotive engine at the top, it is projected where from the flue gases are coming out in a steam engine, that is a stack. In the boilers also, a static boilers also, a stack is used, but the height of the stack is not it is not comparable with the height of the chimney. Height of the chimney is normally more than the height of the stack. So, for a light load application, normally stack is used and <coughs> we can use chimney for higher load applications. But chimney for natural draft, you must have seen uh, that is it, at the top, it is tapering, it is not straight. Normally, it is tapering. The tapering is provided just to increase the velocity of the flue gases, that is one thing. Second thing is for recently we calculated that for 200 Pascal, the, the, the height of the chimney was approximately 35 meters, right. If you calculate the height of the chimney for 1000 Pascal, it will be very, very large and even 35 meters, 35 meters means approximately 10 or 11 storied building, it is quite large. So, for high pressure fire, high draft, chimney is not a feasible solution or natural circulation of chimney is there, but natural circulation of chimney is there, chimney has to be there to remove the flue gases, but natural circulation of flue gases is not a feasible solution. So, induced draft is produced. So, for induced draft, fans are provided. So, fans can be provided, suppose there is a grate. Fans can be provided at the inlet where air is supplied or pressure inside the chimney is positive pressure. So, the, the system is pressurized. Another is at the end of the chimney, the, the, uh, the fan is provided, this fan sucks the air through the chimney. So, the vacuum is created and when the vacuum in the grate is created, air automatically rush in from the surroundings or from the outside. So, either it can be induced draft circulation of air in the system or a forced draft or mix of two. We can have arrangement where we have, we are forcing air through the grate and at the same time we are pulling out air through the chimney and from the grate as well. So, combination of these two is also possible. Okay. So, the draft, we can have induced draft or natural draft. For natural draft, we have already calculated the height of the chimney because a particular height of the chimney is required to produce certain amount of pressure difference because it is a game of pressure difference. So, pressure difference can be provided by providing a chimney right? and by natural pressure difference due to by virtue of temperature difference inside the chimney and outside the chimney circulation will take place that is known as natural draft. And if we are providing the fence, then it is uh, artificial draft. In artificial draft, external energy is required. Natural draft, no external energy is required. Some maintenance has to be there. Fan here will be subjected to very high temperature. So, bearings and all have to be water jacketed for the cooling purpose. So, these type of arrangements have to be made for the circulation of air in the grate. That is all for today. From the next class, we will start with the performance of boilers. <laughs>